Welcome to the Signal Link Bridge Setup Tool Demo. I'm Tom Smith, the Product Manager for the Sprinkler Division. This demo will show you how to configure Potter's wireless supervisory system. Open the WSS Setup Tool from the shortcut on your desktop or from the Start menu. The WSS Setup Tool will be in the Potter folder. The Setup Tool will check that the required USB snap stick is installed in your computer. If the snap stick is missing, install it at this time. Once the snap stick is detected, the box will turn green and you can now start system discovery. The left side of the setup tool shows the devices that are in range. If a device is not shown, the list can be refreshed from the drop-down menu in the middle of the tool. The right side of the tool shows the selected device's configuration and for the receiver and events on the system. Since no transmitter is configured, there is currently a WTXM communication error. To make any changes to the system, we must first enter setup mode. A reminder that while in setup mode, all devices will be awake and draining the batteries faster than in normal operation. Click yes to acknowledge this memo and enter setup mode. To add the transmitter to the system, we need to scroll down to transmitter configuration. We need to enter the address of the WTXM to be added to the system. This address can be found in the device list or if the transmitter is not currently in range on the external label of the transmitter. Click yes to confirm the changes. Now that the transmitter has been added to the system, it has moved in our device list to under the wireless rece receiver it was paired to. To finish the transmitter setup, the receiver's address also needs to be configured on the transmitter. Enter the WRXR address. This address can be found on the device list on the left or on the external label of the receiver. Click yes to confirm your changes. At this point, the system is now configured and our communication error has cleared. The only event we see is that the system is currently in setup mode. Now we can check our signal quality. The signal quality sh test shows the signal strength between each point. If the signal quality is below 53%, the numbers will be shown in red and a repeater will be needed for the system. Configuration of this system is now complete and we can exit setup mode. Click yes, you wish to exit setup mode. If your system requires a repeater, we will demonstrate how to configure that at this time. In setup mode, start a system signal quality test. As you can see, the signal strength of this system is in red and a repeater is required. Exit the signal quality test. Under repeater configuration, click add WR. Enter the address of the WR to be added to the system. This address can be found in the device list on the left or if the repeater is not in range on the external label on the repeater. Now that the repeater has been added to the system, it has moved in the device list under the receiver it has been paired to. To finish the repeater setup, the receiver's address needs to be configured on the repeater. Enter the WRX-R address. This address can be found in the device list 
or on the external label of the receiver. Click Yes to confirm the changes. Now we can check if our signal quality has improved. The system signal quality is now above 53%. If the signal strength is below 53%, the numbers will be shown in red and additional repeaters will be needed for the system. One system can support up to three repeaters. Repeaters must be physically located in the order in which they are paired, with number one being closest to the receiver and number three being furthest away. This system does not require additional repeaters and we can now exit the test. Configuration is now complete and we can exit setup mode. Click yes to confirm you wish setup mode.